Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And look what we've got here. It's Christmas dinner time. So we are having the beef wellington and I need to take it out of the box before turning the box over because we discovered it's um, relatively delicate in there. There it is, as you can see. Quite delicate, nice big fillet of beef covered in this. Ooh. Now, cooking instructions. These are interesting because I have a bit of preparation work to do here. Medium, 35 minutes, well done, 40. My wife wants well done. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees fan oven. Remove Wellington and outer packaging using grease-proof paper provided. Okay. Brush with a beaten egg or milk. I think I'm gonna go for milk. Pierce top several times with holes with a fork. Place beef wellington on a preheated baking tray using greaseproof paper. Place in the top shelf of the oven. Remove from oven and leave to rest before 10 minutes before carving. So it's gonna take a whole 50 minutes. It's now noon. So I need to get the potatoes done. I need to get the potatoes chopped and microwaved to get them part cooked. And the same with the carrots and the parsnips. I need to get those peeled, chopped and microwaved whilst the oven is heating. I'm not gonna film all of that, but that is what I'm going to do. I will film everything to do with the beef wellington. I'm gonna put that box on top of there to stop the cat getting to it while I'm doing all of this. And I'm now gonna put the oven on and get it heating. Um, I'm going to put sugar on the parsnips, which I will, uh, sorry, honey on the parsnips and carrots, which I will show, because that'll make them nice and sweet, okay? And the potatoes are going to be cooked with, we have goose fat, don't we? We have goose fat, so the potatoes are gonna be cooked in goose fat just to make them extra crispy. But instead of parboiling them, I'm gonna par microwave them. So I'll show you that peer process as well. Let's get on with it. Right, the parsnips and the carrots are microwaving away like crazy. And now we have this, I put it in a baking tray already. I've not preheated the baking tray. This is a piece of steel. It's not exactly going to uh, take more than two seconds to heat it up. I don't have a brush, so I'm just going to use my fingers to, don't worry, they're just clean. I just clean my hands to brush the milk over. Oop, a little bit too much milk there. And it'll do, it'll evaporate if there's too much anyway. There we go. There we go. Gotta wash my hands again now. There we go. Let's run any off that's on the top. This is going in the oven now. And uh, it's uh, brushed with milk. Maybe a little too much. I don't think that's gonna damage it once it gets in there and starts cooking. Let's, there we go. Feels nice off. Oh, I've got to poke some holes in it, haven't I? It said to poke holes in it with a fork, but I've gone for kind of a knife. And as you can see, I've done it in the middle of the lattices. I hope that's uh, provisionally enough. Looking pretty good, hey? Right, in the oven it goes, 200 degrees centigrade. Bottom touch. So the parsnips and carrots have had four minutes in the microwave. Um, they're on full power, 900 watt microwave. There's under a kilo of them. They don't contain that much water, so they're actually pretty par cooked. Oh, smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Time to get the uh, oil and the seasoning. <sighs> now, which ones of these do you think I'm gonna use? Well, the oil is an olive oil because it's going to crisp faster. There we go. It's quite a bit of oil. Some of that's gonna soak in. I'm gonna shake it around so the oil can get underneath as well. Why you do that? Some salt makes it crunchy, draws the moisture out the surface layer. 
dash of pepper, not too much because we're putting honey on it as well. I love the honey, baby. See, I found a use for this. Okay. The honey makes this really yummy, by the way. <laughs> Not too much honey, it's just a dribble. It just goes everywhere all over it. There we go. Oh, it already smells really nice. Uh, some people put brown sugar on it, but mm, and go with the honey. Mm, super nice tasting honey. Right. And this goes in the oven for about 40 minutes as well. And now the potatoes. I'll have to be quick with these. So, potatoes are done in the microwave. I'm going to quickly prep them. You've seen this before. This is exactly the same. Pretty much. Come on. This is going to be exactly the same as the parsnips, apart from the potatoes get a bit more fat, it's almost twice as much really, and a bit more salt, a bit more pepper. Smells so good. I love the microwave. Saves you having to boil all this stuff on the pan. Take it round to make sure there's oil underneath them. Look at that. That goes straight in the oven with everything else. Here is everything in the oven, and here comes the last thing. Already starting to smell good. Another beef wedding is supposed to be on top of the oven. It's a fan oven. Vegetables need to go at the top, really. Let's come back and look at it in just under an hour. So, it's cooked, it's cooked. I've turned it around once. Let's have a look. Oh, the smell. Amazing. Now, this has got to rest for 10 minutes, but I think that looks absolutely perfect. Wow. It doesn't need turning around. Everything looks amazing. The, the milk on it, just amazing. The holes did the job. We've got no big seepage anywhere. Looks amazing. Let's leave this to rest. Alexa, add 10 minute timer. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting one. Alexa, cancel 50 minute timer. 50 minute timer canceled. Really hope you didn't have a timer. Let's have a quick look how these are doing and then move them around. Ooh, look at that. We got some cr dang crunchy looking, browning nicely. Let's get them down into the middle of the oven where the fan is. The potatoes are going to take longer than another 10 minutes. So potatoes take in, you know, they take about 50, 50 odd minutes in this oven, even after part cooked to be proper roast potatoes. I think because they've been like that at the top of the oven, they haven't been getting the premium heat because this oven, the hottest part is this shelf and this shelf. The top part isn't actually the hottest in this oven. So that's going to continue cooking for the next 10 minutes. It's cooked. It's time to carve the beef wellington. Let's go from this end. Um, I think I shall cut off this pastry first of all. I'll divide that up into three so we all get some because it looks really yummy. And then we go for the next piece. Oh, and I think I've gone through some beef there. Oh, there we go. So that's going to be, oh, smells amazing. Look at what we got there. Oh, it's done as per my wife's request. Let's get the next slice out. Could do us two slices each to start with. That's a very thick slice though. Oh. Nice broad chef's knife, so it picks things up relatively easily. 
Oh, so that's the first portion. So I don't know if that's a large portion or a small portion. Let's do Max's next, so a nice thin slice. He won't want too much meat. Oh, there we are. And two big slices for me, and we've got some left over. over here temporarily to keep an eye out for the cat as well oh. there we go oh. how on max this plate mm. wow that's amazing I'm gonna go put this away. I think I put it in the microwave. No, nah, that board doesn't fit in the microwave. I might transfer it to a plate quickly. I'll wait for the other vegetables to be done, which will be two minutes. And here are the vegetables. Just turning off the oven. Look at them. Ooh, nice, colorful. I did shake them around, but as per normal, they've all stuck to the, <laughs> to the foil. Let's just uh, loosen them up a bit. I do shake them pretty regularly, but this tends to happen quite a bit. Okay. I got to microwave some gravy in a sec. That came with it. I need to go get Maxi's plate. Okay. Oh, a couple more potatoes for that one. It doesn't look like much for Maxi, but the, the thickness of that beef is pretty impressive. Giving him a few potatoes, there's a few left over. Let's put those out of the way over there. Now let's dish up the carrots and the parsnips. Which... There we go. There's a portion for Max. Max, your food's ready! Because I presume you don't want gravy. we go to the living room to have fun and eat not at the table? Yep. Okay. Give me... There's yours. Go get yourself a knife and fork. I, said, I, want, I was going to say give me some of this. What do you mean some of it? I mean like some of the carrots and things. You've I got... like carrots and, and whatever these are. I know you do. They're cooked in a little bit of honey and olive oil. No, these are mine going to my plate. Oh, they do. Okay, and we've got to do the gravy quickly, because I forgot to do that. And we've got this bag of gravy here, which apparently I have to quickly put in the cup and microwave for one minute. So that's going to be fast. Here's a cup. And where's the knife? Oh, there's the knife. I would have a gravy sort of thing, like a boat, but I don't have one. I am worried about heating gravy in a microwave though, because I do know that gravy can superheat in micro places. So I'll put the video on hold while I wait for the gravy to do. This is all extremely hot still and way too hot to eat at the moment. Oops, let's put that with the other stuff I was gonna throw out. So I'll be back once that's microwaved. Okay, that's the gravy done. It's uh, turned from very thick to very liquidy. I'm gonna put some in uh, on our plate and there's a bit of gravy left over for seconds if anybody wants it. Right, mm. I'm gonna try it quickly on camera and then I'm gonna go away and finish the rest of my Christmas dinner. The only, I'm gonna try a potato quickly. Mmm. Really nice. 
Let's try a piece of the beef wellington and let you know what it's like. That's what it looks like. Pretty incredible. Mmm. Mmm. That is really nice. Wow. 10 out of 10. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely amazing. Right. Thanks very much. If you like what I do here, please hit the like button. And if you love what we do here, please subscribe. We need more subscribers. Only 10% of our viewers are subscribers. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, Merry Christmas.